Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, Drew Ali. Amen. Islam, I give praise to Allah and honor to his holy prophet, Noble Drew Ali. I give honor to all true and divine prophets of Allah, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, etc. I give honor to the forerunner to the prophet, Brother Marcus Garvey. I give honor to all of the leaders of the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated. Brother C. Kirkman Bay, Brother F. Nelson Bay, Brother J. Blakely Bay, past Supreme Grand Advisors and Moderators. I give honor to Brother R. Laville, past Grand Sheik and Moderator. I give honor to Brother R. Jones Bay, Grand Sheik and Moderator of the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated. I give honor to his assistant, Brother P. J. Seal, and all of our national officials in their office and station. I give honor to our state officials, our local officials in their office and station. I give honor to the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. I give honor to our divine ministers, to all of our auxiliaries, to our literature, the Moorish literature, to the remedies that the prophet brought, I give honor to our two flags. I give honor to our divine constitution and bylaws and our additional laws. I give honor to the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated. I give honor to the Sunday School and Quran class. I give honor to all of our visitors, our guests, our sympathizers, those who are seekers after truth, and those who think that their condition can be better. I will now read the divine constitution and bylaws of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Salvation, our God, unity. Act one, the Grand Sheik and the chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the prophet and the grand body of the Moorish Science Temple of America. The assistant grand sheik is to assist the grand sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and it is known before the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Act 2. All meetings are to be opened and closed promptly according to the Circle 7 and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest. Because on a Friday, the first man was formed in flesh, and on a Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his father, God, Allah. For that cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act 3. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Moy Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister, because Allah is love. Act 4. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws, and all members must obey the laws of the government, because by being a Moorish American, you are a part and partial of the government, and must live the life accordingly. Act five, this organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act six, with us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are a part and partial of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people or Ethiopians because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders 
1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Ju Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a partial of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Maury Science Temple of America, then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Ju Ali, through the guidance of his father, God, Allah. Moorish American prayer, Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, Drew Ali. Amen. The Moore Science Temple of America Home Office, 2905 Fifth Street Southeast, Washington, D.C. I will now read the questionnaire and additional laws for the Moorish Americans by the Prophet Noble Ju Ali as found in Quran questions for Moorish Americans. Act one, grand, gov excuse me, grand sheiks and governors and heads of all temples, all businesses, each said temple must be approved by the Prophet Noble Ju Ali before acting upon by any members let it be finance, property, or any line of life that will cause the members to sacrifice finance, etc., that will cause the support of any group of members. Any former officer that violates these laws is subject to be removed from his office under heavy restriction, etc., by the prophet or the grand sheik. Act two. All members are to attend their ADAP meetings and their public meetings promptly. If a member is found standing around on their meeting period, shall be fined 50 cents on the first case, and on the second, he will be fined $1, which will go on your emergency fund. If member is working, his monthly dues must be paid. And if he has money in the bank, he must subscribe for as much as he is able to the Moorish Uplifting Fund, because it takes finance to uplift the nation. Act 3. It is lawful and divine duty of every good member, if he is able in finance, to aid me in saving the nation. And if he does not, he is an enemy to the cause of uplifting his own people, and justice must catch you. Let it be he or she, according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, as I have the power invested in my hands, and I will have to enforce the law in order to save the nation. Act four, all members while making a public speech must not use any assertion against the American flag or speak radical against the church or any member of any organized group because we are to teach love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Act five, all members must promptly attend their meetings and send their children to Sunday school and the teacher must confirm himself to the questionnaire and let every member exercise his five senses who is able to do so, because out from your Sunday school comes the guiders of the nation. Act six, with us, all members must proclaim their nationality and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed 
that they may know that they are a part and partial of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, color folks, black people or Ethiopians because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Nobu Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7, all members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a partial of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, noble Juwal Li, through the guidance of his father, God, Allah. Islam. I will now read from the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. I begin with verse 21. Excuse me, this is chapter three, Elihu's Lessons, The Unity of Life. The only devil from which, which man must be redeemed is self, the lower self. If man would find his devil, he must look within. His name is self. If man would find his savior, he must look within. And when the demon self has been dethroned, the savior love will be exalted to the throne of power. The David of the light is purity who slays the strong Goliath of the dark and seats the savior love upon the throne. Praise be to Allah and honor to his holy prophet, noble Jew Ali, Thank you, Prophet, for bringing these life-saving and life-giving lessons. I now bring before you to conduct our Sunday School and Quran class, Brother R. Jones Bay, Grand Sheikh and Moderator of the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated. Peace. Islam, please unmute yourselves. Islam. 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 It's such a pleasure to have you uh, here today. You know, it's a pleasure to have you here today. We are making an attempt to firm ourselves up so that we may return to the teachings of our ancient forefathers. That's right. 
so that we can remember what was, so that we can remember who we are for the purpose of uniting ourselves with God. Wow. Within ourselves. <laughs> We are in search of the Allah in man. Know thyself. Who? Your higher self. Know Allah in man. But even though Allah is in man, man still has a choice. He can choose to accept the Allah in him or he can also choose to reject it. And of course, we know both sides of it because we have played the role in uh, rejecting. Allah in us. So it's a blessing to be uh, in a setting where we are striving to know ourselves for the purpose of our redemption. To return back to the state of our ancient forefathers and they, when they were able to actually come together and it's, it's, it's just amazing and to build not just a city but to build a holy city to found it a holy city can you imagine what existed in a holy city well that's what we're trying to remember remember how it was mm -hmm. so it's a blessing to see you sister d adams day i pray that your family as well Islam, Islam, they're all doing well. Thank you. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Sister F. Daily Eel, it's a pleasure, my dear. Islam, it's a pleasure. Thank you. And Sister Harmony Bay, that's Temple 34, right? You're, you can unmute you can unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Islam, yes, Temple 34, Brooklyn, New York. Praise Allah. Please, please give my uh, Islam to your grand sheet. Will do. And the rest of the membership. Praise Allah. Brother R. Webb Bay, it's a pleasure. Islam, always. It's a pleasure, Mo. It's a pleasure yes, to see you. You know. You too. I pray that you I pray that your wife and your family and everyone, your children are doing well. Doing well, brother. Doing well. Good, That's yes, good. Sir. Good. And brother governor, Islam, sir. Brother Grand Governor. Don't let me shorten the uh title. Brother Grand Governor, Islam. Islam, brother leader on post. Praise, praise Allah. And, and brother P. Chase Hill. Islam, my brother. Islam, brother Grand Sheikh Islam Morris. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. It's a blessing to be here today with you all. It's a yes. blessing to be in your company. I can't say that enough. I don't want that to get by you in the least. You know, mm -hmm. uh, especially when, see, the prophets say when two or more are gathered in my name, he's here. So when you get what we got, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So therefore he's here with us and he yes. will help to educate us and to show us why it is so important that we learn to obey the law. Praise the law. The laws that he has implemented, you see, the laws that he has put in, that Allah has put in place. Yes. So as we proceed, uh, 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 as, let's start with the questionnaire. Now, I, I have come to the realization, I've always known it, but I I, I, I have, um, I guess you become uh, more knowing of it as you proceed forward in this, this life that we have accepted that we, that, that this, in this life that we have chosen to live. And that is to make sure we firm ourselves in the questionnaire. That's right. That is a must. Yes. Yes. We must firm, regardless of how uh, uh, extensive in our conversations we can become in discussing other things, we must always remember our foundations. That's right. Because the prophet has told us uh, he laid the foundation, and it's on it's our responsibility to build upon it. So let's go with the questionnaire. I'm going to begin with, uh, let's say, let's just start from the beginning. And then what we'll do, we'll stop and we'll, we'll discuss that which uh, is revealed to us to discuss. Who made you? Allah. Allah. Who is Allah? Allah. 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 Can we see him? No. No. Where is the nearest place we can meet him? In the, In the heart. heart. Who is Noble Juali? He is, he is Allah's Allah. prophet. What is a prophet? 
Amen. 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 What is the duty of a prophet? To say good. Why do you think the prophet taught us about is teaching us about misery? Why do you think a thought of Allah is teaching us about misery? And keep in mind, misery does not exist, it does not exist within the realm of God. So why do you think? The prophet Noble Jolly is teaching us about misery. My sister. Islam, because it's a part of our law self and it's a part of our study about self. That's good. That's good. You sure started off strong today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's good. That's real good. Why else do you think he taught us about misery? My sister, Sis Adams Bay. Islam, first I give praise to Allah and Iris, our prophet, and honest to all of you. I think um, one of the reasons is because so that we don't get caught up in our passions because oh, we're supposed cool. to keep our passions in the bounds of righteousness. So, that's right. you know, that's our good. passions can get the best of us at times. That's Peace. Good. That is good. That is good. Mm -hmm. Who else? My sister. Islam. Islam I also Islam rise and give praise to Allah, high honors to his prophet and to all of you. And I'm going to add to and build on what was already said. I believe it is um, to show us not only that we have the capacity to go the opposite direction, although the prophet is showing us the right direction, but there is a wrong direction and our lower self will often invite us into that other direction. And if we're not aware of it and we don't know that it exists, we cannot uh, fight against it and resist it. So it is always to keep it in the forefront. We have choices. We have the option to follow the prophet or not. And yeah. as we continue to, uh, learn and to study our lessons we understand the importance of making that decision on a daily basis even sometimes minute by minute every choice yeah. that we make and with that i say peace peace that's good that's good 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 brother web back islam arise giving praise to allah and honor to his prophet and give every and give honor to everything that the chairwoman gave at the onset of the meeting um sister f daily ill said it best we are to know our higher self and our lower self, yeah. right? Because we are to know the illusion of the world. Yes. And, and if you don't know the illusions, then you can get caught up. The illusion is true. Yes. And that is one of the major issues that we have. We sometimes believe that that which is an illusion is reality. That's right. And with this, this, this thing with, with misery, you know, the chapter of misery talks about the greatest human ill being sorrow. Yes. And that we love it. Yes. We actually yeah, I'm looking at the right 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 And That's what he that says. It's going to give us something. Right, that it, it gives us apples. Sometimes it gives us something that is pleasant. Yes. But in the end, there's something that is not so pleasant about it. It's not permanent. Uh, what it is yeah. that, that we're actually going after. And so, I think we have to know misery so that we can have a deeper understanding of that which is has no misery. As you mentioned, Grand Sheik, that has no misery within it, which is, you know, a lot. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Come on, brother governor. You know, I was thinking, brother, leading and praise read all the first. I get praise all on to the prophet. And when you think about it, the prophet said, I live, uh, I bought you everything it takes to save a nation. Now yeah. take it and save yourself. Yes, the prophet didn't leave us with prophet did not leave us with no unanswered situation that we will face here on this plane of things may manifest. Okay, and okay. in the process of traveling this road on this plane that things may manifest he informed us that misery is going to play a tremendous part to keep us from becoming one with our father god Allah. he made it he made us aware of it by letting us know that because until the prophet informed us the, that without thee there would be none of it we could easily function in misery and not even realize it I mean, I think about when he talks about insufficiency of knowledge and all these things that's going to protect, that's going to prevent us from being able to raise above these things because they're going to affect us on this plane. So the prophet has gave us what we need to know that these are the things that we're going to have to fight against. These are the things we're going to have to overcome. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think it's a beautiful thing. And that's why I can hear when he said, I come to take away all excuses. Mm -hmm. See, because if he's given us what we need, it's just a matter of us accepting what he's given us and using the remedies that he gave us to show the remedies to overcome them and apply them to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, misery plays a major part. 
mm-hmm. and keeping us shackled mm-hmm. to this mortal life. Mm-hmm. Misery mm-hmm. kids a major part. I mean, mm-hmm. sometimes we could be miserable and we don't even realize. I mean, t- I mean, we would think about miserable being miserable and we didn't even know the source of misery. Right. But right. a lot of right. times the source of misery is our own passion. Right, that's right. So, so he right. goes to the source. He look, you it ain't a it ain't a thing that the thing may help create it, but it's your inability to raise your level of thinking above it to allow yourself to free yourself from that. So right. when I think about I think of, when I think about why did he do it more, he didn't leave no screws, no, no screws. He didn't leave nothing unturned for the salvation and redemption of the age of mankind here on earth. Misery is going to play a tremendous part. And, we, and he gave it to us, man. And that's praise just, and I think that's just the way I look at it. And, uh, praise and, it, and praise the Lord that he did yeah. do that. That's right. You did that's do right. that. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you know what thing that, that but when you think about it, how it can, it's so simple. And when you think about it, someone had to tell us that we are the creators of it. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, babe. Come on. We yeah. do it. Yes. We do it. Yes. And 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 then he tells us, and the source of it is your own passions. Come on. Right. That's what we do. Mm. Brother Webbe said something that was very important when he, when we first open up, and it's like we're coming from we're learning how to re-enter into truth. Yes, he, that was not his exact words, but that's what I gathered from one of the things mm-hmm. that he's saying. Mm-hmm. We are in fact re-entering into truth. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't re-enter into truth until you first accept the fact that there is that this is the truth. Yes, sir. Meaning you must reject falsehood. That's right. And with the falsehood comes the misery. Yes. Come on, on, Sister Adams Bay. Islam, I was just looking up a couple of definitions of the word misery, and some of it connected to the word wretched. wretched, And it connected to what you were saying about, because it's one of the words that connected was being a stranger. And it's like we were being a stranger to ourselves. By yeah. accepting falsehood and debasing ourselves from our Father God Allah, mm-hmm. so I just wanted to add that because when you said that, it, it connected to me. Peace. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Remember about the stranger; he won't follow. What That's will right. he not follow? Divine instruction. Yes. He won't follow instructions. Yes. Hmm. Brother, uh, uh, where Bait and Sister Daly Hill? Islam, yeah. So, you know, when Sister Daly Hill mentioned know thyself, yes, that is so important. Sometimes, like, yes. you know, we oh, it says know thyself in the beginning, it said, but just what know thyself means at a deep, <coughs> at least, at least for me, you think yes. about know thyself, it says it when we open our Quran, but yes. then you go to chapter three and it gives you a deeper understanding of what know thyself is. Yes. Some people yes. thought up and say, well, know thyself. I just need to know, you know, my higher self, and I just need to float amongst the clouds. I'm, I, yeah. I say some of us, some of us is me. Sometimes right. we get in that space, right? But right. Chapter three is very clear. Yeah. It says to study yourself. We actually again study yourself. It says, well, what is it? Your higher yeah. and your lower self. That's right. And Jesus mm-hmm. later explains in chapter seven that understanding is knowing is the gnosis of the yes. art and of the naught. That's what he so said. That's what them. he said. So, we have to have a deeper understanding of the illusions, which leads to misery, yes. so that we can experience truth. Or yes. else we might actually think that the misery is the truth itself. No question. We get caught up in that and then in our vanity be like, well, you know what? We, you know, the, the same misery loves company. Yeah, because we yes. like to, misery enjoys being able to get fire to build it up some more. Uh, yes. It doesn't like what takes it away, which is true. And when yes. you get through, then you be even in the same situation, you begin to experience it differently. Yes. My lesson, the thing yes. that happened to me recently, I've been saying to myself, huh, I see why now I needed that to be able to grow. And if I would have had knowledge of why I needed it to grow before, then I wouldn't have grown. Right. So praise a lot for what I went right. through in order for me to be able to grow. Right, right. The process of the art, having a deep understanding of the truth as well as the illusion. Peace. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's good. 
That's good. Sister Delia? Islam, um, brother who was filling my thoughts. Let me go back and give praises to my father, God, Allah, honors to each and every one of you, yeah. and honors to my divine prophet. I was thinking the same thing the brother was thinking. I was going on comfortability. Okay. We have gotten comfortable That's right. in our state because this is what we have been taught, right? Mm -hmm. And the comfortability also brings fear about fear right. to ask, mm -hmm. you know, ask questions to you know get answers on who we truly are. Right. I had to come out of that comfortability. I had yeah. to change my thinking. Yeah, because you know, we know the thoughts of the cause of it all. I had to change my way of thinking yes. and start thinking there got to be something better. Yes, yes. And then I grow and I find out the things that I thought was right was misery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I right. was I was creating right. misery for self. Right. And mm. then I was allowing others to create misery for me too. Right. I had to change my way of thinking and it changed my actions you know, and my things that I did. So right. that comfortability, we got to come out of it. Right. We got to grow and start moving on to better things and, and, and hold on to all our prop, you know, hands. Right, right, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, when one becomes engulfed in misery, mm. it's very difficult not to try to solve your own problem if you don't know that you have something have in problem. you that can assist you and get out of this state that you That's have presently right. created for yourself. Mm. That's right. Yes. So we dwell in it trying to figure out what can we do to change it. Mm. That's right. That's right. But the danger in that is you dwell in a state of misery. Mm -hmm. And in that state you attract those light thoughts that continue to energize it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if we're ignorant to the fact that there's something other than misery that we can, that, that that is of benefit to us, we find ourselves dwelling there, not hoping that we can do aught else. We become like the people and about was that, that Jesus went to in, in chapter number 12. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Misery can cause oh, you to yes. lose hope. You better believe it. So look what he's done for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. A divine thought, Allah's thought, came to earth to tell us that we are in fact the creators of this, this, this thing mm -hmm. called misery. Mm -hmm. And it's based a lot on the choices that we make. We think. Mm -hmm. Brother Chase, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's fine. Give praise to Allah and honor to his holy prophet, honor to all the things that have said before me good conversation you know in this chapter he's teaching us about misery because he wants to direct our i, I believe he wants it to direct our attention after he let us know that his source is our own passions yes then what we must use to come out of it is reason yes yes, yes. See, we have to use our reason and 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 misery is all around us it, it's almost it's a part of everyday life and as it relates to the illusions of the world. Yes. You know, because it's only truth and falsehood. And many times, because we are oftentimes dealing with things and we look for pleasure in all sorts of places. That's right. And we have physical ailments, uh, mental uh, distress. You, you have disappointments in life if you can't accomplish a certain thing. So all of these things contribute to um, us sometimes being miserable, but he, take, he takes us right back to letting us know what its source is and how you come out of it. Is you, you have to use your reason because if we look at it for what it is, then we can think about, well, what can I do to change it? And some thoughts have already been put out. It is the way we think. Mm -hmm. Because we find misery in things, whereas if we think about them, we can change that thought and be uplifted. The same way you just made reference to it, Mo, in chapter 12. What Jesus was doing was letting them think about it a different way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they thought there was no end in sight. But mm -hmm. he said, mm -hmm. just open up the windows of your heart. Mm -hmm. 
And so he was showing them, if you think about it, because they thought life was supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. Many of us have gone through different things in life and think that it cannot be aught else. Mm -hmm. He's telling us that it can be if we would just use our reason and think about it. Mm -hmm. Because there are uh, other options that bring us out of it. And as he has uh, instructed us to look at the lesson where it says, and out of the worst, the wise find means a good. That's what he said. So yeah. we got to learn to use that wisdom, that reason, yes. so that when we do find ourselves, and, and we all going to be challenged with different things that are going to be uh, challenging us that can bring about misery. Yeah. And, and, and it's from the physical to the mental and even the spiritual as we're practicing these teachings. Yeah. That's you right. know, we got to teach our spirit uh, uh, to be uplifted. That's our right. spirit ha ha has been dormant when it, when it tore itself away from Allah. We created some different things. And if your spirit is not nourished, it becomes dormant. It becomes right. uh, as, as it is when we were encased in this body. Yeah. Our will gets sluggish. Yeah. You have yeah. a sluggish will, you get lazy. You get yeah. complacent and yeah. you get uh, um, to a point that you sometimes just don't feel like doing it. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. And that That's adds right. to misery. That's right. That's and it right. builds on if you don't change the way you're thinking in short order or in some of those moments because right. we're allowed to build up and you talk right. somebody talked about it. it it does get energy yeah from being surrounded by other things that it attracts to it yeah yeah and the yeah. world of illusion will give you more things to be attracted we start watching the television and get miserable that's right <laughs> or everything we hear that's going on mm -hmm. it may not even be directly Related to you, mm -hmm. but we mm -hmm. know as Moses and Mercs, we're connected to all the things that Allah mm -hmm. has created. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it does bring a pain to your heart. Mm -hmm. So that can become miserable when you think about the different calamities of the human state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to study and learn these things, use our reason mm -hmm. so that we don't get dragged into it too deep. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to pull yourself out, and mm -hmm. that's where you're your reason and your principles and the actions of your soul being nourished mm -hmm. by the spirit that's being mm -hmm. nourished by these divine instructions. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. Allah. Listen, I, I got Sister Adams Bay and you, Robert Harris Bay, but listen, what methods, or let me ask you this, what techniques do you employ when you find that you must, pa you're passing through that, uh, that, that way of misery? What, what is it that helps you to uh, regain your stability, so to speak? Mm, that's a good question. It's wrong, Bo Gretchen. Let me speak since I had the last word. I'm gonna get this in real fast because <laughs> <laughs> it was right there. Okay. You 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 employed you employed the lesson that the prophet said. He said, "Weep not at the calamities of the human state. Mm. Laugh at his folly." Mm. I find myself trying to laugh at myself more often than not now mm -hmm. because I come to realize that, Chase, look what you did. First, I want to be upset. And then I said, wait a minute, you can fix it. You can just stop and think. Sometimes I got to pray. Most mm -hmm. of the time I do. Mm -hmm. But then I have to laugh at the illusion because one of the things I was thinking about earlier is that it had a beginning and it had an end. Mm -hmm. I got to keep my mindset in those areas. That's mm -hmm. just what I try to use. Peace. Praise the Lord. Praise good, the Lord. good, good. Okay, Sister so Adams Bay, then Brother Harris Bay. Islam. Uh, I'm glad you asked that question because it kind of ties into uh, what I wanted to point out. Uh, in conjunction with what, what Brother P.J. Steele was speaking about, it made me think about the kind of, of evolution at its rise. Because okay. if you look out around the world and all the things you're seeing, we're going to need to get into detail because there's so many things out there that are just like out of control. And it talks about where it says, in yonder kingdom of the soul, this kind of evolution is not known. And the great work of excuse me, and the great work of masterminds is to restore the heritage of man, to bring him back to his estate that he had lost, for he again will live upon the ethos of his native plane. Mm -hmm. And when you ask the question about how do you, I'm paraphrasing, but how do you kind of get yourself back? Mm -hmm. I think that for everyone that kind of looks different because we're talking about yonder kingdom of the soul. If you keep your soul attentive to its good. And you listen to that aspect of it because at that point, if you keep your soul attentive to what's good, it's you're tapping into that Allah within man because it's the spirit working at that point. 
And I think for everyone that might look different because some people they might need to steal them. Well, we all should steal ourselves. Some people they might go for a walk. That is there's a specific tree they like outside. They sit under it helps them to it helps them to steal themselves. Some people might need to go meditate. Some people might do take breathing exercises. It, it may look different for everyone, but when you look at those good aspects of your soul, that's when the Allah, I think the Alan you will speak to you and direct you. How do you get out of this situation? How do you calm down? How can you, you know, so praise Allah. Peace. Yeah, yeah. But see, that's that's what we're talking about. We want to talk about, we're talking about misery, but we also, we already recognize that we had what well, we experienced it. Now we want to try to identify for remember, we are speaking to, to those who don't know about misery. Like That's we. right. That's mm -hmm. right. So we want to let them know, yes, there is a thing called misery, but there is a way out of it. Yes. That's right. Yes. And by our experiences, we can be patterns. Everyone needs a pattern. The prophet teaches us that. Brother Harris Bay. Yes, you know, Brother Leader, and that was a very good question because one of the things you often say, we got to be able to come up with certain strategies within these teachings to, to help us be able to work through the things that we come in contact with. And one of the things I've learned over the years is I don't want to, and I think about this in, chap, in, in the chapter of Misery and in Divine Instruction number 11 say, the greatest of all human ills is sorrow. Too much of this thou art born unto add not unto it by thy own perverseness and the one thing i think about is we're surrounded around things that can bring us down mm -hmm. and we're surrounded by things that can bring us down i mean certain even certain things that can bring us down can touch our heart but at the same time what i try to do in my journey is not to let it grab me to a point where i lose focus on what it is I mean, sometimes it does grab me, but I, but like brother Chase and I often say, prayer is a very important thing to help you overcome the raise you, the raise you out of certain conditions. Sometimes things can be so complicated with you. The only thing you can say is the prayer and wait for some instructions because it's, it's just like driving. I mean, it's like if you're driving and you lost. I often tell people if you lost, don't keep driving and trying to find your way. Pull over and try to re try to get yourself together to make a to make the proper decision. Because the longer you drive, the further you're gonna be lost. The further you're gonna be going down the road of being lost. Mm -hmm. So, and that's just and that's dealing with ourselves. And when I find dealing with me, when I find things that are complicated or they look complicated, I try to stop for. I I have to stop and ask myself a few. Wait, what are you thinking? How are you doing? What you where you going, man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where you going? No, you know, and, and sometimes you don't have to make a quick decision. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make a quick ass, a quick move. You just need to be still because right now there's so much coming at you that you may add more to it than you need to add. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, so mm -hmm. I think that what I mean, it's, 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 it's a combination of things that you you I'm learning that I have to use. But that's the, but also. You try not to get caught up in this stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. you really try to remind yourself that, you know, I mean, it has a beginning. It has an end. Mm -hmm. If you, you use the TV, it's an illusion. It'll mm -hmm. pass away. Mm -hmm. uh, you tell yourself, you know, when you find yourself in awkward positions, one of the things I'm learning too, brother, Lee, is I got to be honest with myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when I say that, I got to be honest with myself. So I got to go back to the soil. I got to say, well, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm a creator. And if mm -hmm. I find myself in an awkward position, I can go outside and be trying to figure out what somebody else did if mm -hmm. I played a part in creating it. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I'm learning is mm -hmm. being honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not going to be honest with yourself, you'll go out and try to find the answer mm -hmm. with, the, with from everybody but you. And mm -hmm. you was the one who created the conditions that you find yourself in. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's those, so those are some things I'm learning probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like I say, uh, mm -hmm. we don't want to add to it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I and I want to say this: we mm -hmm. got to go back and reevaluate our whole thinking pattern about this thing called life, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, from the from the material things, uh, the value system. We got to go mm -hmm. back and reevaluate our whole thinking pattern because mm -hmm. a lot of times our thinking pattern was created by someone who may not see anything wrong with misery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They function mm -hmm. under that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but and as long as we adopt that way of thinking, we're gonna function under it too. That's right. That's right. Peace, bro. bro where are they? Islam, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm so glad you asked this question because in, in the chapter it talks about reflection being the business of man. Yes. Now listen to the to the grand governor speak as well, and when he said, um, I don't remember exactly. Oh, I have to be honest with myself. Mm-hmm. The first step that I just started, I just started right this this process because when you have these teachings, sometimes you know the Quran tells us that vanity is above them all. It also can be true with the teachings in the way in which we use them. That's so right. Sometimes I'm vain and thinking, oh, I know the teachings, so I'm not. That's really, right. I'm, not really I'm good. I'm a Moorish American Muslim. I don't, you know, and I, I go down that route. And so the first step I started to take is to admit and acknowledge that I am in the state that I am currently in. That's right. Raise it up. Just saying, right. I feel misery because I used to be like, I feel misery, but I'm not supposed to. And I, I do all of that, and I'm, I am. I am trying to act when I find myself greater, where I need to sit right there in the moment of what yes. I feel. I'm like, I feel miserable. That's yes. what I'm feeling right now. Okay. Yes. What's wrong with you? And, and I've started to give myself permission to feel it. Yeah. Just to feel it. And yeah. to see what happened yeah. there without trying yeah. to. I try to figure out everything with my mind. I'm like, your mind didn't get you into this necessarily. It's mm-hmm. a lot that got you into the situation. And I'm trying to figure this out and do this mathematical equation. I'm like, no, you you feeling miserable. Experience mm-hmm. your spiritual feeling. And with the uh um with brother P. Chase Ill, with the grand chief mentioned when he said, you know, um, this show, you know, I, I was like, that's my that's my ancestors' wisdom, that's my grandma's wisdom. She used to always say, This two shall pass. Mm-hmm. Pass. Mm-hmm. That was wisdom. They're right, mm-hmm. they will pass. And so my first step. I just admit it and I acknowledge it. And then I try to figure out, all right, well, what's the next step after that? But first, it's just acknowledge that I'm in it. That's right. You know, you made a good point because we are in love with what? Anguish. Anguish. You better believe it. We, listen what he said. We are in love with anguish. So sometimes you're in a miserable state and you just want to experience it. Mm-hmm. You just yes. want to experience it. Because remember, we're talking about loosening ties. There you go, boss. That bind us to a worldly way of thinking. Come on, man. And some of these ties we are in love with. That's what I mean. And look, one of the one of the one of the keys that I'm learning: never try to to confront misery with anxiety. Oh, that's like dynamite. Because if I'm I'm in a situation and now I'm worried about the situation and that worry now is pushing me to try to figure out how I'm gonna get out of it, that's the worst thing you can do. Hey. What you do is like Bubba Grand, Assistant Grand Sheik said, you gotta reason this thing out. Yeah, and think about it. You're going through some some sensitive times and you gotta stop and say, wait a minute, I gotta reason myself out of this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because you first must think your condition can be better. Yes. yes. And if you don't accept that, you're defeating yourself from the start. Mm. We get caught up thinking we can figure everything out. No, we can't. No. We need no. to hear a voice say, look, do this, do this, move like this. Don't do that. We need to hear it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. if we try to go by what we think perhaps is true, all we're doing is creating more of a layer on already an existing condition mm-hmm. that has brought about this state of misery in the first place. Mm-hmm. Sister Adams Bay. Islam, you pretty much touched on it as you continue to speak. Uh, but I, when you were speaking, it made me think about the importance of actually changing the way we think because. I've done that before. Like you'll be in a state of misery. You're like, why is this going on? And you come back with anxiety. You're worrying, oh, I have to do this now. I have to this. I have to that. Yeah. And that just makes it so much worse. But And that's why it's important to change the way you think and apply the prophet's um, teachings because you're going to think that's what you're supposed to do yeah. when it's not. Yeah. And you have, like you say, you have to listen to the still small voice. Yeah. And you have to really actually learn what the, what that sounds like 
Yes, yes. You know, because it's easy to listen to the voice that's in your mind that's yelling at you and say, you have to do this, you have to do that. And it's anxiety and pressure yes. and tension yes. and yes. all these bad feelings that you don't want to feel that's just making it worse. Yes. You know, and that's why it's so important to apply the teachings because you'll then you'll start to recognize truth from error and what yes. you should do and shouldn't do. Peace. Yes. Peace. Sister Harmony Bay. Islam, I was really drawn to um, our holy instructions from the prophet, the instability of man instruction too, that says, weep not therefore at the calamities of the mm -hmm. human state, rather mm -hmm. laugh at its folly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the hands of the man addicted to vanity. Life then is but the shadow of a dream. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I do, I know when coping with um, misery is I, I take a moment to step into gratitude. Mm -hmm. Because there's something about gratitude that suddenly makes the misery less attractive. Number one, yes. you don't want to stay there because you mm -hmm. recognize that this is not the best state for me. This is not what Allah wants for me. So mm -hmm. stepping out of it, you're able to truly look at it and see it for what it is, that it is, in fact, misery. But Allah says that we can laugh and move on. We can actually look at ourselves and say, you know what, I messed up. Yeah. I messed up, I made a mm -hmm. misstep, I did mm -hmm. something crazy, or at the time it made it seem like the right thing to do. But now, in this now moment, um, I'm able to see and recognize that that's misery. And what I truly want to do is take a moment to separate myself from that. And gratitude to me is a vehicle that assists me with doing that. When I can step into gratitude fully and start yes. making... Um, a list in my mind of all the ways that Allah has helped me, has delivered me from many different situations. Mm -hmm. I right. have no reason to weep. I have no reason to be upset. I have no reason for anxiety. Mm -hmm. I can for... simply call on my father, God, Allah. He will come and assist me and guide me as he, as he has always done. And man finds himself where he can solve his problems best. That's right. So That's relying right. on my own ability to pull myself through, using the knowledge and wisdom that I've already attained from many, many times ago, many trials, many tribulations, mm -hmm. recognizing I, I haven't always been here. I won't always be here, that this will pass. Mm -hmm. And Come also, on. again, just being able to ground myself in that gratitude that as soon as misery shows up, I can smile and say, okay, Allah, what's All the right. lesson for me today? What mm -hmm. am I going to gain from this? How is this going to mm -hmm. make me better? How can mm -hmm. I minister to someone else in this testimony of what I'm about to walk through? I'm looking at it. I know I have to get through it. How can this testimony help the next person who has that's to get it. through it as well? Exactly. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Excellent. This is Delia. It's um, I'm sitting here listening to everyone, and it's coming about in my thoughts that I've been in misery all these years since I've been on this earth, and I've tried different ways of coming out of it. Now, since I've been introduced to Allah and the Prophet. He gave me different tools to use. And I've noticed sometimes when I use one tool, the lower self was fighting me, right? Yeah. And yeah. that tool might not quite been working at that time. But right. Allah gave me another tool, the wrong right, tool, right. to use to help me come up out right. of it. And, that's right. And I remember the talking about evolution. The evolution of I understand now I have more than one tool to work with. That's right. To help me to evolve even on a higher level or come out of that misery or whatever condition I find myself in at that That's time. Right. And I'm like, you know, the prophet was so brilliant that he gave us these tools. It's, our, it's up to us to pay attention to That's those right. tools and how to use them That's and right. when to use them. And mm. it, it, it's a blessing. I'm sitting here listening to the different tools everyone has Yes, you know, right. That's right. On what they have used to help them out there. That's right. At that time, and I'm thinking I've used those tools, right. and they helped me at my situation at that particular time. Right. And I'm realizing Allah blessed me with many tools yeah. to help me improve That's right. me, and That's to right. also pass it on to others to help them to improve themselves. That's right. That's right. You know what the blessing about the whole delivery coming from you all is this those who are within the the range of our voices and that can hear the word look you're telling them what you know praise the lord that's right praise the lord not telling what you think praise the lord you're telling them what you know and that's very important yes 
That's very important. That's why it's, it's so important that we, when we remember, we, that we must remember, speak on what we know. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it's okay. That's right. It's okay. Yeah, it's not insignificant is. what you know. Right. It's no. mm. Okay, uh, Brother it's Governor and then Brother Chasey. You know, I just want to say this, Brother Leader, and one thing I've learned, that prayer. Yeah. Mm. That prayer. When things are complicated and it's confusing and life heavy load is pressing up against you, yes. just stop yes. and say that prayer. Yes. Because that's your protector and your guide. Yes, that's right. Man. And he gonna come. I mean, in the sincere method, you say, look, we ain't gonna we can't figure all this stuff out that's overnight. Right. That's right. But one thing about it is we, we don't want to add to it. So that's say right. that prayer so he can give you something to say, you know what? Just let it be. Yeah, be still. Really be That's still. Right. That's don't right. Over, don't. And one thing about it is, we got to get control of our emotions. Right. Mm -hmm. Because yes. how can your actions be right when you have no rule over your life? When them passes right. kick in, you are you have left the reservation. That's right. Reasoning That's right. is going out the window. Reason you reason right. don't come in when 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 there's a lot of noise in there. That's right. Because reason is part. of Reasoning <laughs> is that still small voice. That's the guidance. That That's you right. need that guidance. So when you in your emotions, you're not gonna hear anything. You're right. gonna react to things. That's right. So right. what I'm learning is sometimes I don't have the words to 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 work on. I just say, you know, let me say the prayer. Yeah. Let me just say the prayer. Yeah. Because yeah. I need some guys. I need. I'm calling on them. I need some help. Yes. yes. I need some yes. help to get through this stuff. Yeah. That's what we yes. gotta. That's what we. And we never underestimate that. Peace. That's right. Peace. Praise the Lord, brother Chase Hill. It's wrong. Uh, just in brief, uh, and it's beautiful to hear all the different testimony. Uh, it was good to hear the sister speak about gratitude. Yes. Because yes, one of the things about misery is this, that we can all take into account. Yes. You find yourself in that state, just think about somebody that's suffering harder than you. That's right. Praise that, Allah. That Allah. brings about that gratitude. Because there's mm. always somebody going through something much harder than you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what he say. Yes. Very true. Just, just keep those folks in your heart and in your thoughts when you find yourself thinking about some of the things that you're dealing with. And and, and that and that is a, a uplifting thought. Well, you know yeah. what? Praise out. I know somebody suffering harder than I am. That's right. I, I should be able to work my way through it or I pray that I can, but I'm going to pray for those who are going through something much worse than me. That's right. And we hear about That's that right. every day. That's right. Every That's day. Right. That's so right. So we got to count those blessings and have some gratitude. I, I appreciate to hear that. Yes, sir. Yeah, Praise well, you know, that was a blessing. You know, remember, remember that we must, and we're, when we are in states, or when it, we are passing, because perfected man must pass through all the ways of life. Mm -hmm. Misery is a way of life that we create for ourselves. Mm. Yes. So as we pass through that way of life, we must always try to remember, change the current of thought. Change the current. If you're on a river and we're trying to, 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 to avoid danger, we may have to change a current of thought and go in another direction. Gratitude opens up a door or a direction that helps us to raise it higher. See, once we can go higher, we That's can go it. above it. That's it. Once we can get above it, and the prayer, the prayer all, look, anytime we stop and say the prayer, the, the lower self is always going to make you think from the onset, it's not working. That's right. Come That's on, That's when buddy. he's going to be, that's when it's going to intensify mm -hmm. and hopes that it will derail you from, from saying the prayer. But if you can just say the prayer, remember that puts in motion mm. a series of events in your thinking. And once you can rise above it, you start to see, wait a minute. Now, you know what? It could be worse. Yeah, come on, babe. That's the reason. It could be so much worse. Mm -hmm. Once we start thinking like that, now we, we're getting our stability back. We're starting to regroup. Once we regroup, 
we can we our stand will become firmer and you'll see that passing through that particular condition at that time will be less stressful right now because the whole thing with misery, you get stressed out. Once you get stressed out, you're not using reason. You get caught up in the emotionalism of it and in the passions of it. Next thing you know, you're trying to figure it out. When you try to figure it out, like we talked about earlier, you put yourself deeper in the hole. Come on, babe. Come on, brother later. So, you know, misery. So, look, let's go into the chapter. I'm going to read it. You tell me what you hold. Now, with the divine instructions from the Holy Prophet, chapter 44, Holy Instructions from the Prophet, Misery. Mm. Feeble and insufficient as thou art, O man, in good. Frail and inconstant as thou art in pleasure. Yet there is a thing in which thou art strong and unshaken. Its name is Misery. It is the character of thy being, the prerogative of thy nature. In thy breast alone it resideth. Without thee there is nothing of it. And behold, what is its source but thine own passions? He who gave thee these gave thee also reason to subdue them. Exert it, and thou shalt trample them under thy feet. Thine entrance into the world is in that shameful, thy destruction. Is in that glorious. Lo, men adorn the instruments of death with gold and with gold and gems, and wear them above their garments. He who begetteth a man hideth his face, but he who killeth a thousand is honored. Know thou, notwithstanding, that in this is error. Custom cannot alter the nature of truth; neither can the opinion of man destroy justice, the glory and the shame. Are misplaced. There is but one way for a man to be produced. There are a thousand by which he may be destroyed. Mm. There is no praise or honor to him who give a being to another, but triumphs and empire are the rewards of murder. Yet he who hath many children hath as many blessings, and he who hath taken away the life of another shall not enjoy his own. While the savage curses the birth of his son and blesses the death of his father, doeth he not call himself a monster? The greatest of all human ills is sorrow. Too much of this thou art born unto, add not unto it by thine own perversiveness. We'll stop there. What did you get? from? And, and include, of course, in your thinking, the discussion that we have had prior to the reading of these particular instructions. Mm. The one you heard is the one that you are to elaborate on. The one that sparks a thought in you is the one you comment on. It's wrong, but oh, oh, okay. Okay, yo, come on, yo. You, you, yeah, y'all see I'm excited about trying to participate. I've been missing in action for a couple of days. I mean, for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all bear with me. <laughs> no, and when when we read uh, instruction number two, yeah, that that stands out. I mean, that that gets my attention, and we've been discussing it. Yeah. Uh, it is the character of thy being, the yes. prerogative of thy nature. Yes. So that means we, we are are choosing uh, to allow it to be with us. You know. Yes. They say in thy breast alone it resides. That's right. Without thee. Without mm -hmm. you allowing it to be in, without mm -hmm. you giving it energy, without That's you right. giving it life, That's right. there is nothing of it. That's right. And behold, what is its source but thine own passions? Yes. He's been teaching us, and the governor uh, spoke about it, you know, that we don't want to allow passions to rule with us because it doesn't give room for us to use reason. And then you just responding to, to the impulses. Yes. And we don't want to respond to the outside impulses. We want to yes. be able to think our way through life and especially as we've been instructed to yes. start to think for our own good. Yes. And, and and of course we want to make sure that our thinking is in line with those thoughts that come from Almighty God. Yes. Out. Yes. That's the spirit of inside of man that has to tap into that source so that it can be directed and guided properly. Yes. So Using our reason brings us back, 
it, it, it gives us a moment to pause and say to ourselves, you know, even ask the question, well, how did I get here? I heard Brother uh, say earlier, you know, questioning, you know, where you're at at certain moments in life. Yeah. How did I get here? Sometimes we find ourselves, we got to step back for a minute to say, you know, what in the world am I doing? That's right. So that's right. Hey, being able to learn how to reflect. And, yes. And some of that reflection has to take place in moments. Yes. So that we don't let it linger before we start to um, come back around and regroup, as you just stated, and then we can move forward. Yes. Peace. Yes. Good. Peace. Who's next? It's not Bobby. Okay. Oh, what, Sister Adams Bay? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Um, I, I, for me, it was, I mean, I was going to go with two, but for the PJ <laughs> still elaborating on it as he was speaking, it helped further my thought because I wasn't sure if I wanted to speak on two or three. So praise the Lord where it says, he who gave thee these gave thee also reason to subdue them, exert it, and thou shalt trample them under thy feet. Yes. And that's something that I've been trying, striving to work on because sometimes when we're in our passions and we may have a disagreement with someone, sometimes we say things that aren't too kind or whatever. But the thing is, I find myself when I'm in, when I'm the person may say something that's out of line. I, I want the person to be understanding of me that I'm in my passions and this and that. And I have to do the same. And I'm finding that. When I do that, I feel better. Yes. And I'm able to continue to just keep moving. Yes. You know, and my husband says all the time, God, keep moving. And it's true because there's, there's so many things that we have to tend to in this life of ourselves, our families. But it says, and thou shalt trample them under thy feet. And That's right. I've been striving to do that. And it's only with small things right now. Yes. But I'm learning that. Just because you feel a way about something, you don't always have to say something. You don't always have to be so combative. You don't always have to have the last word. That's right. That's it, right. You have to bring about peaceful conditions for peace and not destruction. Yeah. Sometimes we, we can be destructive and we don't even realize that's what we're doing because we're in our passions. That's right. You know, and, and praise a lot. Praise a lot. Good, good, good. This good. Up. Okay. Brother, Harris, and I yes, Cecilia. you know, brother leader. I, number one jumps out at me because number one introduces me about introduces me to me, and I think about it. Say, feeble and insufficient as thou art and good. That's I take that as a warning sign. Frail and inconstant as thou art and precious. Yet there's a thing in which thou art strong and unshaken. Its name is misery. I gotta identify these things as at what level or degree these things that i travel with you know but he lets me know feeble and insufficient so that's something i got to be able to, to take a look at and doing and, and thou art in good see one day i may do good tomorrow i may not do good that's something i got to look at and frail and inconstant and i art in pleasure but then he tells me, says, yeah, yeah, there's a thing in which thou art strong and unshaken. I got to own, I got to look at me and take ownership to some of these things. Because if I don't take ownership to these things, I could easily be functioning like this and not even realize it. So he's letting me know that these are things that I got to take a look at. My, I got to reflect and look at myself. If I, and how, much, how much is this feeble and insufficient as I are? old man and good how much of this con controls my way of operating yeah that's right that's how much is this how much of it i mean it may not be it may be a large sum it may right. be a small sum but i just can't ignore it right right because see all this is going to add to misery if right. i don't address this right mm -hmm. if right. i don't address this this is adding to it right. so and that's why when i think about it he's introducing man spirit man he introducing him to himself while he's on this plane that's good that's good that's good that's good that's good that's a good observation that's good mm -hmm. introducing spirit man to himself yes that's good that's good that's good sister delia islam um number four okay the int interest into the world and i start thinking how backwards our thinking is right? come on Come on. Is it not shameful? And I was uh, what came to me was 
for instance, um, my children's father or my son-in-laws, mostly brothers, but some sisters too. When our, our sisters, our mothers are having children, most uh, men, they back up and they run. They run for cover. They faint. They whatever. Because right. I've seen it too many times. Right? right. But you have some of these same brothers that's out there on the streets and they will shoot somebody, dismember somebody and say, yeah, I'm bad. You understand? Yeah. Their way of thinking is backwards. And this is what this you know, particular verse brought me into the entrance into the world. Is it not shameful? They'd be shamed to see their child being born, right? Mm. But that destruction, is it not glorious? They celebrate when they think they have made themselves look like a man. Right. Mm. So our way of thinking That's is, right. is reversed. We are not thinking the correct way. You should be rejoicing when you see a life coming into this world, something That's that right. Allah and you have created, help right. create. You understand? Right. But instead, you run for the hills. Right. Right. Or right. You faint. Right. You go up. You do all kinds of crazy right. stuff. Right. Instead right. of sitting there trying to aid and assist, not all, but some. That's you understand? Right. But we all need to be on the same board. Praise Allah. That's Praise Allah. Well put. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brother Webb Bay and then Sister Harmony Bay. Islam, I, I, one, I can't stop laughing at Sister Daily Hill. <laughs> you faint, you run away. <laughs> it's so right, because that, that stood out to me too, because it, what's interesting, um, Grand Sheik, is that I thought we were going to talk about weakness, and then when we start talking about misery, I went over, and the instruction that stood out to me was right. that one, because I've read Custom Can I Alter the Nature of Truth a million times, right? right? But this is the first time where I read it in the specific context that it was talking about the custom of that's right as if death is that's a right. glorious that's thing, right. as, if, as if murder that's as right. Right. Thing, that's right. Right. That's right. 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 right versus the idea of helping to breathe life right. as that's a right. glorious mm -hmm. thing. And I said, oh, oh, wait a second. And so I thought about it in terms of murder, but I also thought about it destroying someone's character. Right. Also, that's right. Destroying. Yes. Big talking yes. down about yourself, right? right? And and that's the thing in misery. We in misery often that's talk right. down on ourselves. That's like right. there's nothing glorious about that. Breathe life right. into yourself. Re right. Say and remember who it is that you actually are versus right. trying to say the things that are bringing you down. And, that's and right. you know, and, and to the to this point, I also um, thought about instruction eleven and talking about the grace of human ills and sorrow to much of this that are born into. And I was thinking yeah. about what I was mentioning earlier about misery and and sometimes when I experience it, I try and jump out of it real quick and act like I'm not experiencing it, but really I am experiencing it. Right. And I start telling myself, you know what? Without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength. So as you as you this foe that you have that's in front of you is <coughs> the strength necessary to be at oneness with the law. Yeah. And, that's, and you you miss something along the way. So now you're experiencing this. Yeah. So you better reflect to see what's happening because it is a lesson that is involved in this in order to be able to grow. And the last thing I'll say to Sister De Leo's point, I had the pleasure. I hope my wife, my, I think my wife is watching. You see, I looked at the door to make sure she don't come in. <laughs> I had the pleasure of seeing my son born in our house. Wow. And my wife, for three days almost, her, you know, water had broken and everything, and she, he had still not come. I watched her not eat nor drink. I had never seen strength like this in on this plane in my life. And then right. she had him after the third day of this happening. And I remember there was a moment where she was in the water, and I'm holding her under her arms, and I'm thinking to myself, my legs sure are tired. <laughs> <laughs> And she said to me, you better not go anywhere. And I said to myself in that moment, I said, if my legs break, they break. I'm yeah. holding this sister up because what Praise she is alive with, right? Praise the Lord. Right? And I'm grateful to have that moment because it taught me about life in a way that I didn't know, that I didn't have that lesson before. I saw right, strength in order to build life versus the strength that sometimes that we try and bring on to bring forth destruction. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Right. That's come what on. I want. I want yeah. that strength. Not that's the strength right. To stronger to be able to destroy someone. That's right. That's right. Praise. That's well, right. That's right. That's well right. Put. Well, well put. Well said. Yes, sir. Sister Harmony Bay. 
It's long. Well said, indeed. Um, yes. I'm inspired to share that I just recently gave birth on October 15th. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so and, much. And look at you sitting up here. Sitting up here in, in a discussion. Yeah. Yes. You know, yes. That's like the discussion we're having. And yeah. it's yeah. Praise it's Allah, my dear. Praise Allah. So there's a um a running joke between myself and my grand sheikh at Temple 34 where the wife Cyrus said that on the day of the trek, which I don't know if any of you had the ability to be there physically on October 14th in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. I had started feeling the contractions and I yeah. said, you know what? I'm going to get through this trek. We're here. You know, I was there with here. my temple family. And I'm I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. If I have to sit down, I'll sit down. But this this baby waited so that I could complete that trek. And I took my older daughter, my 14 year old. It was her first time, you know, being able to experience it. You know, on our Moorish American Remembrance Day, being surrounded by the Moors, turbans and fezes. You know, hearing the demonstration from the different Moors that were speaking. And my grand she kept saying, you know, you sure you okay? You sure you're all right? We got through the entire day, and on right. October 15th, which is also significant in our Moorish history, um, four o'clock in the morning, I felt the sensation. And I said, oh, I think it's time for me to go. And at 342, on October 15th, my little prince was born. So as I'm reflecting on instruction nine that says, that says yet he who hath many children yes. hath as many mm. blessings. Yes. That's yes. right. That's right. That's right. away the life of another shall not enjoy his own. Come on. Yes. So to speak to what both the uh, sister Daily Ill and bro brother um, Webb Bay said, I absolutely agree that there is such an emphasis in our community, especially with our men, our melanated men, where there's not enough conversations to support them and encourage them as they step into fatherhood yes. you know there is a lot of uncertainty and you know discourse their own trauma being raised either without a father or with an absent father a father who was not supportive of them or didn't have the consciousness and awareness of Allah and these lessons that yes. we are so uh, fortunate to have there are many different reasons why uh, our men approach fatherhood from a distance Yes. And so to be able to teach them these lessons and to uh, to in, to share these instructions with them, that th it's actually a blessing. Allah yes. sees it as a blessing. Our prophet knew it as a blessing to yes. bring children, to bring life forth into this world. Yes. And so to yes. miss that is truly um, a disservice to yourself yes. to not be able to see what that looks like, to not be able to physically uplift fallen humanity, our women our yes. sisters yes. in their time of need, I think it yes. is extremely crucial that we continue to operate in that way in our lives to be that example, to, to, to show that demonstration and to be able to start making those changes in our lives with the young men that are around us, uh, to be able to mentor them and to be able to assist them. Because as a sister said, a lot of times that fear kicks in, as yes. uh, the grand chief said, the anxiety kicks in. And sometimes they will interpret something that is a blessing as misery because it can That's go both right. ways and they mm -hmm. don't know the beauty and the life and That's the life right. that Allah is actually bringing into their lives, the healing that is coming forth. You know, there's a prophecy for each of us coming into this existence. Yes. So really being able to take advantage of those opportunities when we know somebody is uh, uh, was with child to support that person, support that sister, make sure that she has what she needs because we know that that work is just beginning yes. and that Allah has ordained for that child to come into this plane of physical um, manifest and that now we have an opportunity to uh, be a part of that young Muslim's life, their upbringing, to make this science and this movement something that was from the very beginning of inception. How powerful that is that many of us got it later on in life. I didn't get it until I was 33 years old. You know, my Christ year that mm -hmm. I found more science, but to be able to bring my child into this existence from the beginning, surrounded by turbans and fezes, surrounded by the light and the <coughs> comfort of Allah, surrounded by the teaching and the presence of our prophet, it's powerful and we should not overlook that. Praise Allah. That's the truth. Praise, Praise Allah. Allah. Well put. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. You know, you know, the choices that we have made, of course, have got us to this point where we are today. Right. Praise the Lord. Just look at the choices that we made. 
We chose to be here listening to the teachings of Allah's thoughts. That's right. We chose to be here today in the company of Allah's thoughts. We could have been anywhere, but here we are talking about Allah's thoughts, Prophet Noble Juali and his divine instructions. So the choices that we made, if it got us here, it's no place that I'd rather be than here. Mm, that's right. That's right. I did not understand that I created conditions for myself <laughs> that caused my own misery. That's right. But praise Allah that he had mercy on me. That's right. That's to right. To allow those the, out of the worst, I was able to find a means of good. Mm. We're here. We are here. And if we're here, Allah is here. Come on, come on. And the world is, well, look, what I, look what the world is missing. Mm. They're missing the divine spirit of God, almighty, eternal, incomprehensible. And we've been chosen to help to make them aware that he exists. That's not right. above him, but in him. That's right. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're making an attempt to do. It's to let them know that the great God is in us. And we will overcome whatever condition that in our ignorance we create. If we just can remember that God exists. That's what we're mm. about. Praise the Lord. We're trying to do. Come on, Brother Chase Hill. Uh, I would like to give you the honor of <coughs> having the final word before we depart. It's fine, Moses. It's fine. Oh, praise is due to Allah. You know, just just feeling this vibration from everything that's been said so beautifully by each and every one who has who has had the opportunity to uh, express themselves. One of the things I was thinking earlier to myself, um, and 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 you know, it's been a blessing that when I wasn't able to come on with you all because it gave me an opportunity to sit back and see the works of Almighty God all right, in each and every one of you. I would be so elated just hearing the truth being expounded upon. And this is truly a blessing for all of us to be in this great divine movement. Yes, it is. And Allah uses who he pleases. And if we can, can continue to embrace these divine instructions and just try, try to practice these teachings to the best of our ability, we can do some great and wondrous things. And, and to, to the degree that that is our lot as it relates to helping in the great program of uplifting fallen humanity. We're on the right path. We're on the right track. We're moving in the right direction. Don't let the lower self or those who have doubt plant any seeds in your heart. We must continue to march forward toward that nobler life. We mentioned this last week. Uh, he said that this is a field open to strong men and women. Mm. We're gaining that strength. The more we practice, the more we turn from sin and strive for purity in life. We're getting stronger. These uh, venues and, and these meetings as we're having them uh, reinforces the way we're thinking. We're connected. I, you, you can hear the thoughts that are connected together because we are all looking at what the prophet has said. That's right. So when you do that, you can hear the sound of his voice. You can hear it in each other. And that's where we're supposed to be looking for when someone in the more Science Symbol of America or someone else is speaking the words of the prophet, we're listening for that sound. You can tell if it sounds like the prophet. And, and that's what we want to get is those divine instructions that will continue to guide us toward that paradise of Allah. Yes. We know that this is in a world of illusion, but we have to pass through it and we have to learn while we're here. Yes. yes. And somebody spoke about it earlier about the pattern. 
Prophet Noble Drew Ali is a pattern for mankind in this era of time. Yes. We must imitate the pattern so that men can have light. He said, carnal men want not the light, but we have to shine that light so that those who are seeking the truth can see. That's right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's right. You know, and, and so we, 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 we're moving in the right direction. We, the, the doubters are going to doubt. He said, just watch his prophecies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to do is not be among those who question the truth. We want to embrace it. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's you right. know, you, you can learn. You, you embrace the truth and it will unfold for you. Yes. You don't have true. to question what the prophet said. Well, everything he said is the truth. Right. That comes from Allah. We want to embrace it so that when it starts to unfold in us, then you will start to see the gnosis. You start to see the gnosis when you embrace it. That's what, and the sister talked about it on Friday, opening up the windows of your heart. You have yes. to. You have to so that that revelation can come in, so those instructions can come in, so that you can be received. But purity pays the way for that. That's right. So we got some things we got to get out of us. That's right. That's so that right. we can receive the truth. And then we start to share that light. That's right. And you share the light just by what we're doing right here. Have an open discussion. Tell the truth. Right. That's right. Talk about what you know. And you said it, Mom. You, you got to talk about what you know. And, and, and when it's rooted in the truth, you're giving it to the people so that they can see, Mo, well, this, this is what I had to go through. This is what I did. This is what I experienced. But this is what works. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So if it worked for me, it'll work for you because we That's all got the same problem. That's right. Mm. That's so right. let's just keep striving more. Appreciate the opportunity, Brother Grand Sheik. My brothers and sisters, Allah bless each and every one of you. And Allah continue uh, to hold us in his care. Peace. Praise Peace. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, my brothers and sisters, I want to thank you. for. I, I, look, I just want to thank you, you know, for, for expounding on the Prophet Noble Drali's teachings, because I've learned a lot from you. Praise the Lord. It's, it's a blessing. It truly is a blessing to sit amongst those who are trying. People don't understand. To be in the company of people who are trying to live right? Yes, sir. It's, it's, I don't want to never take that for granted. So I'm grateful for you to come on today. And look, I look forward to sitting with you again. And we will continue this discussion. May Allah bless you all. And at this time, I would like to call forward Brother H. Harris Bay, Grand Governor of the District of Columbia, to read from our divine morning. Praise Allah. Islam Moors. First, I give praise to Allah and honor the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I give honor to each and every one of you. And I give honor to everything that Prophet Noble Drew Ali has brought for the uplifting of fallen humanity. Prophet warns all Muslim governors, order to read proclamation at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical agitating speeches while they work in their homes or on the street. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans, it causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, true peace, and freedom. And when these principles are violated, justice then must take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feeling towards the temple or the prophet or violate divine covenant of the Moors movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card, but and cease wearing their turban or affairs and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Noble Duali. And if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sins by order of prophet Noble Duali. Peace. Peace. Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, 
and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet Drew Ali. Amen. Peace, boys. May Allah be with y'all.